So I'm one of those people who hates having different web browsers on different devices. If I'm using Edge on my desktop, you better believe I'm using Edge on my phone, on my tablet, anywhere that I can go. And in fact, this is such a problem for me that I've stopped using some of my Chromebooks because there's not really a good way to install and, and properly use another browser. You can install things in Linux and it gets very, very annoying and so forth. But I, I like that synergy, right? And I really like modern browsers that sync my settings and sync my bookmarks and all of these things. It's really, really nice. One problem I've run into with my Z Fold is related to this exact issue. My browser of choice is Microsoft Edge. It's a really decent browser. Now, my big problem here is that on the Fold, when you're on the tablet screen, everything's fine. When you're on the cover screen, everything's fine. But sometimes when you launch it on one screen or the other and then you close it, open it back up, reopen it up and it moves over, things get weird. Sometimes you just can't actually get to your uh, address bar up top. There's no, there's like, it's too shrunk down. You can't actually click on it. You have to long press, you have to swipe up and hold and force close it and then open it up again for things to kind of fix themselves. It's super duper annoying. So then when I'm using my fold, I'm like, oh, I kind of don't want to use Edge. But if I don't use Edge there, then I got to change it on my desktop. And it's this whole big ordeal at any rate. Enough uh, kind of intro in there. I think I finally found a good solution here. And it involves the stock web browser on these devices, Samsung Internet, which, by the way, I hate the name of that browser. It is. Not, it should not be called Internet. Internet is the Internet. That is not a browser. That is a weird thing to call a browser. I digress. There is a new extension available that solves my biggest issues for the most part with this. Obviously, their browser can handle whatever screen it's on just fine. It's made to do this, and that is great. But obviously, there is no Samsung internet browser for your desktop for other devices. So how do I go about actually syncing my lovely bookmarks from one device to the other? Well, there is a Chrome extension called Samsung internet. And this is actually installed on my uh, Microsoft Edge browser because Edge runs effectively its Chrome with some changes. So this is going to work exactly the same. And once this is installed and you have signed in, it is very, very simple to now edit your bookmarks, move things around, and in fact, click on Chrome bookmarks and click on import. And it's going to grab, in this case, it says Chrome, but trust me, this is my Edge browser. It grabbed all of those bookmarks, and then I was able to grab the ones that I wanted and move them over to Samsung bookmarks as well and make things look nice and neat. In fact, I'll show you this very quickly. Let's go ahead and delete the ones in the Chrome bookmarks section here. Let's let it load. Let's delete and delete. And then what you do is you click on import and you can add to current or you can replace. We're just going to replace even though there's nothing there. It's not actually relevant which one I clicked. So now all of my bookmarks are there. And also you can see I have my bookmarks that are on my, my Samsung device. Now I can click on settings. I can click on sync with Samsung cloud which is probably going to be blurred for you, and click on Sync Now. It's going to sync that across uh, my account. And then back on my Samsung device, I can go into my settings here on the browser, sync with Samsung Cloud again, and I can again sync now. And once that is done, what you are going to have here, if you click on your bookmarks, is exactly this. Here are my Chrome bookmarks, all of them. And here is my bookmark bar and my other bookmarks, which again, you may you may find is easier to edit in your web browser in that extension than it might be on here. And it just works really, really well. And if you add bookmarks, it should pull them automatically. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal to occasionally go in and sync them and to solve that problem manually. Now, of course, this is not as automatic and smooth as it might be if you were using the same browser, right? Chrome and Chrome, Firefox and Firefox. But I think that it works well enough that when you factor in that it is a browser that works perfectly on this device, duh, it's the device it was designed to work with, I think that it becomes a bit of a wash. I also want to point out that if you are using the application called Your Phone uh, or Phone Link, I believe is what it is now called on your desktop computer, on your Windows computer, there are some new features that are quite useful that uh, integrate with Samsung Internet as well. Let's go back to this and you'll see half of my desktop here. And if I click on this little link and if I now click on the Phone Link application, you will see my recent apps, but also 
my recent tabs, which I don't actually have any tabs open right now. So let's open up a tab and you'll see this pop up. And now you can see there are a couple of tabs that are open and this does happen in real time. Let me like close this one tab, boom, it's gone. So what, what does this allow you to do? Well, it allows you to click on one of those links, and of course it's covered up half of my screen, and go straight to that web page. So it allows you to kind of bridge that gap, right? Like I said, this is not as smooth as some other browser experiences, but when you combine it with phone link, hey, you're getting pretty doggone close now. Guys, if this is useful to you or new information, maybe drop a like down there, leave a comment and tell me about it. If you wanna see more content just like this, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.